Okay, so uh, we're out again on Wixom Lake. Water's still dirty. I'm on the east side today. Uh, and it's the weekend, so uh, quite a few people out here running snow machines and fishing and stuff like that. But we're going to give it a try. I uh, came back here because uh, I needed to catch a few fish. I was up at some new lakes earlier this week and did absolutely nothing uh, so I came back to uh, Wixom see if we get something going uh, also Steve asked me to spend some time on the sonar because apparently he didn't understand how that works but I'll try to do that as well matter of fact why don't I do that right now before I start fishing and uh, that way maybe you'll uh, have a better appreciation for it Okay, so I've turned the sonar off, and uh, I'll give you a brief intro on how it works. That top knob up here is uh, just the gain knob. You turn that up to increase the, the sonar signal. It's not on now. Uh, the middle knob just configures your uh, display, how you want to see the sonar, sonar echoes return. And then the bottom knob uh, you use to calibrate the unit depending on how much water you're in. And I'm at about 22 feet here, so uh, I'm going to put it in the 40 foot setting. So what I'll do here is first of all turn it on. And uh, this top reading up here is the zero position. That's the top of the water, the, the bottom of the, the transducer here. That's zero. And then this solid red line here is the bottom of the lake. Uh, basically, the unit has three colors. The stronger the echo, uh, the redder the echo is. The lighter the echo, the greener the echo is. So you see a combination of red, green, and yellow re uh, signals. That thick signal on the bottom, where that begins, is uh, the bottom. And it's right near uh, on the dial where it says uh, uh, 22 feet. Now you, you probably can't see that, but it's about 22 feet deep here. Uh, anything above that bottom that's that uh, thick red line is really either brush in a way of a bush or a tree or some man-made object or fish and again the the stronger the echo the darker the red color will be on the return uh, so i'm going to just calibrate the unit a little bit differently as far as the screen is concerned here and I'll put it in a split screen mode so I won't go through all the details but basically here's the bottom and on this side of the screen now I'm reading six feet up from the bottom all this red activity just off of this thick red bottom is brush and some fish uh, in the brush I can tell they're fish because they're changing the brush doesn't move but but fish move so you see that fluctuating signal there, yellow, red, green. Those are fish near the bottom, about a foot off, down in that brush pile. So we're going to send our bait down there, see if we can catch one. Now I don't know if this bait is going to be the best bait today or not, but I've got it on my rod, so I'm going to send it down. I may have to change color. I may put a black one on because the water is so dirty and I think they can see black easier in that dirty water like that but let's put it down and see what happens now as I put this in you'll be able to see it go down you see this line right here going down it's red at first but it'll get lighter and lighter because it get farther away and the echo will get weaker now when it gets to within six feet of the bottom You'll see it on the left hand side of the screen. Here it comes now. It's getting down in that brush. I'm going to try not to lose it in there, but I'm going to keep it right there. 
see if we can get a fish to move up for it. There it is there again. I just raised it. And uh, I'll see if I can get some of those red lines to move up if possible. Okay, so one did move up and I caught it. Well, it's a crappie. Small one though. Maybe I'll send him back. I'm going to turn the gain down just a bit. Just to quiet things down a bit. Ideally, you want your gain set so your bait, at the depth you're fishing, is a faint green line. Here it goes. You can see it coming down on the right, and it will appear on the left. Here it comes. And I'll stop it about right there. And we'll see if we can get a fish to move up from down in that brush. Okay. <clears throat> There's a fish moving up after my bait. No, oh, he actually overshot my bait. He's on top of me. Coming back down now. So I'm probably going to get a bite here. really aggressive today but he's certainly looking at it but now he's dropping back down so that's not a good sign let's let's go down a little further see if we can get to another one to come up here comes one and he did bite see what it is. Another crappie, small one. So they're biting but uh, all the fish I've caught so far have been under my nine inch limit. Hopefully we'll get some bigger ones here in a while and uh, take some home. I'll be back. Well guys I just got another one. <laughs> it's a uh, huge rock bass. You remember from my last video I was getting a few rock bass and I think that's the largest one I've caught all winter. He really wanted that. Okay guys so we're still fishing here. Not much going on but there are fish down there. And I think I've got a couple active ones in there now. So here's my bait up on the top. You see as I jig it, the green line moving. Right below that is a fish. I'm going to send it down. Let me reel in some line here. See if I can get that fish to bite. So watch it. Very close now. Oh, he bit. Okay, so... You can entice them to bite today, but they're not really hammering it. And it's another small guy, so we'll let him go. So hopefully that gives uh, gives you a better feel for how that sonar works. Simple technology, really. It just sends a, a sound wave down, and then that'll bounce back from the bottom, and then it'll also bounce back from anything else it hits and this device just keeps track of how deep those uh, hits occur uh, works pretty nice especially for ice fishing let me see if I can catch one more while I've got the camera running 
since nothing else is really happening. There goes my bait on the left. Here it is. You see it as I jig it? And there's some fish down below. Now those fish are green, which means they're not really close to my bait, but if they can spot it or hear it in this dirty water, maybe they'll come closer. So what we want is one of those other marks below my bait to move up just a bit and turn red hopefully, which would mean it's very close to the bait. We'll give it a try. Well, I sure hope you can see that okay. Now crappie generally feed up. They don't feed down, so they're always looking out and up for their bait, and that's why I'm fishing on top of them like this. Okay, that one seems to be getting interested. Let's see. I thought he was. There's a bunch of them down there now. There's one. Another mediocre one he's going back into. So I have yet to keep a fish today and my confidence is not really high that the fish are going to be getting larger in size here. 